Good Morning Idaho. Uh, we love this time of morning. It's time to uh, come into the Cisco kitchen. And this morning, Krista and Brian Cromar, whose shop you may have seen in the village of Meridian, Waffle Pop, are joining us. Good morning, folks. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're doing all right. Thanks for being here. We're always good when Waffle Pop. Yeah. Are in and, town. you know, we have all sorts of different food. This one, it could actually go as breakfast. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's in the morning. Yeah, I think it's a first, too, because I don't think we've ever had a Waffle Pop. No. And we want to know exactly what a Waffle Pop is. Uh, basically, it's a Belgian waffle on a stick. So it's like kind of like it's fair food, yeah. But, pretty but much. you guys don't but just a do it fair, fancier right? with yummy toppings. Nice, and we're yeah. gonna get to that in just a little bit. But Brian, where are you guys located? Is this something that you that's new that you're doing now? Yeah, it's something that uh, we came up with, and it's uh, it's in the village, and we've been there for about three months now, and it's uh, seasonal, and uh, we're looking to do uh, something with it uh, after we close down in February. So uh, it's there just temporarily, but uh, in February we're gonna take it, uh, do events, and and other things like that. So. We t were talking earlier. We thought this would be a perfect thing for a wedding. Yes. How yeah. did you guys get started with this, though? What was the idea behind it? Right. Um, my brother, um, who lived in France for a couple of years, and he, um, we would use do waffle pops for family events and fun times that, uh, on Sundays when we'd all get together for dinner. No and way. It would be just all our kids would love it, and so we thought it'd be a great. Thing to share with everyone. So is this like from street vendors in, in France? Yes, kind of, that uh -huh. kind of thing? Mm -hmm. Awesome. And you guys have so many of them prepared. You see each of these signs with the flavors. Yeah. And you told me too, in addition to what you already have on there, I see syrup, I see chocolate, I see whipped cream. You also have toppings that people can choose from, right? We do. Let's go over some of the combinations that you think are the best. Okay. Well, they're all pretty popular. Our first one is our, str our strawberries and cream. And this is probably one of our top two. Okay. Yeah. Um, people like, and we Love to drizzle. It's prayed strawberries. Mm. And then we also have our nutty Nutella. And who <gasps> oh. doesn't love Nutella with hazelnuts? And how did you get Nutella on there like that? I have trouble spreading uh, it because yes. it's so thick. You must have a special yeah, that's a really good. Thing. That's a really good question. There's an icing gun or it's okay. a uh, cookie gun that we got. And oh. This is my uh, weapon of choice. Absolutely. This is a good one to have, folks. <laughs> You've got to have that one. We've tried all different <laughs> kind of things. That thing seems to work the best. So. Um, anybody that loves. Um, Bacon. Oh, yes. Which who me. doesn't? Pick me. Oh, is it maple syrup <laughs> we love to use real bacon bits. These are real bacon bits. So we actually put bacon inside the batter and then we cook the waffle. No way. And then we take it out, put syrup on it, and then bacon over top of it. This is a lot of ingredients for one little shop. I mean, you got the fruits and, and the bacon and then I see sprinkles. And so this is very diverse. Yes. It's pretty Absolutely. cool stuff. We always love to ask if people would love a pop of sugar. <laughs> and that always makes it better. It's perfect on our peanut butter and chocolate. Can people do extra add-ons if they want to maybe combine bacon with something else, like bacon and strawberries or something? Can they combine them if they want? Yeah, absolutely. There's an all carte menu, so if they just want a waffle with, uh, like, like you said, bacon or syrup, uh, we've had some people come with, you know, marshmallows and bacon. And <laughs> oh, they've just gone crazy, and so it, um, you know, the kids go crazy with it and. I they bet these are messy to eat, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, but they're right. They're worth it. Yes. They're worth it. Do you want to try one, Jillian? I, I do. I'm trying there. to decide. I kind of <laughs> want the bacon one, but the strawberry looks good, too. But oh boy. We'll be it's back with these here. guys on Fox 9, and we're going to try our hand at making one. Yeah, we want to see We've how they come the out of the yes. machine, too, because that's got to be one of the <laughs> coolest parts. Yeah. Yeah. The Absolutely. Iron. That'll be great. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Join us on Fox 9 for more Good Morning Idaho. Up next, though, the loud bangs that interrupted a city. Locked and loaded this morning. <laughs> you got to have one of these when you're making waffle pops. They won't hurt anybody. In fact, they'll make your breakfast better. <laughs> We're back in the Cisco kitchen with Brian and Krista Cromar. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Sure. Yeah, you bet. Good Pleasure to be here. Again. They're here from a waffle pop, and you may see them in the village at Meridian. And we uh, talked about all the different toppings and flavors they do. The telegun. Right yes, here. great frosting stuff. <laughs> but we're actually making one now. So, uh, Brian, tell us about the waffle iron because that's probably the most unique part of yeah, this. Yeah, this is the most absolutely. This is the this is the I guess the heart of our operation and. Uh, we can see the steam right there. Yeah. Uh, we, worked with right. The, we worked with the vendor out in Europe, and uh, there was a lot of 220 voltage out there, so we had him convert it to 110 so that we can use it here in the United States. So you actually bought the iron from Europe? Yeah. Okay. okay. So I think it might be the only one here in Yeah, I've never in seen Idaho. one in the stores. And the, you have a, you, so you're putting the batter in. No, okay, so I have a regular Belgian waffle maker. Yeah. And whenever I try to add things into the batter, it always does not come out. Squishes out. Right, out. Yeah. It, 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 um, it comes out too thin or too thick. So what's the secret to your batter? Or Lo can you tell us? Um, you know, it's it's just love. Um, <laughs> I, I can't, That's a nice way of saying no. I can't tell you what's in the batter, but, um, you know, it's it's we've worked with it a lot, and uh, we, we've 
we've catered it to this waffle iron. We've, we've tried different traditional blends and everything, but the batter that we're using right now, which is your batter, bit, which is our batter, yeah, it's, it's got it just right. It looks right. Like, and that's going to be cooking for a couple minutes, I understand, yeah. right? Two minutes. So, in the meantime, let's talk more about what you guys have. Was there a particular, you said sometimes you have actual items in the batter? We uh, do. Bacon, et cetera. In our, in our bacon maple, we cook the bacon inside the batter and then also sprinkle. Oh, sprinkle nice. Sprinkle the top. Good. And then these were, these were just the regular batter that, yes. that are cooking there right here this morning. And so uh, d uh, go over again some of the ones you were talking to. We didn't get to this one with sprinkles. No, I'm interested in that that's one. kind of one of our kids' favorite. Um, it's our uh, marshmallow I've sprinkles. Of course, we like the kids' favorite one. Yes, <laughs> yes. A lot of adults yeah. like it as well. Marshmallow sprinkles. Marshmallow okay. sprinkles. And our last one is our salted caramel. Um, it's actually called the 65 Roses pop. Um, a portion of those proceeds go to Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Oh, good. Which is a cause close to our heart. So. Okay. So yeah. if even if you uh, want to, you want to try that one out, of course. But if you want to donate to a good cause as well, yeah. Make sure you get the salted caramel the one. Salted caramel. Specifically for that reason. Yeah. I've been trying to decide, Jillian, which of these flavors <laughs> and I toppings I want. I can't decide. I kind of want well. to try the strawberry one. But uh, Krista, what would you say the top sellers are? Oh, the top three are our strawberries and cream. Our Nutella, because who doesn't love Nutella? Yeah. Yeah. And our salted caramel. So, yeah, the, it's great. And each one um, are actually named after a family member in our family, which is kind of fun. <laughs> our kids <laughs> think it's great <laughs> when like their friends that. tell them they got one of their pops. So, <laughs> nice. it's kind of fun. So, you can get these pops at the Village of Meridian. and you guys are right by the fountains. Right Absolutely. there in the center of it all. And it's a temporary winter setup, I understand, right? That is correct. Just to keep people warm while it's cold outside. Are these almost done? We're, we're about running out of time here. Check them oh out. Oh, look at that. But Let's you break put them open. The, and you put the popsicle stick in there ahead of time, so it cooks right in. Yeah, so it blends in and it cooks in. Uh, we get our scissors, we trim them up. So they look perfect so and they nice. Look absolutely perfect yeah. and nice and warm and toasty. And add on the toppings. And then we'll add the toppings on. And look you think that. of waffles for breakfast, but you could eat these all day. Which flavor would yeah, you like? Certainly. <laughs> Here, yeah, certainly. Oh, look at that. Caramel, oh boy. strawberry. Yeah, we've, uh, unfortunately, we're out of time. I okay. wish we could sit here and eat them all. But thank you so much, <laughs> sure. Krista and Good Brian Cromar from the you. Waffle Pop absolutely. in the Village at Meridian. And uh, we're going to have more of this at IdahoOnYourSide.com as well at 721 right now. Coming up next.